Hello everyone, and welcome back to our universe. Today, we'll be answering the question, why does Saturn have rings? Saturn is probably one of the top favourites of all the planets in our solar system. And one of the main reasons for its popularity is due to these mysterious rings. Floating out there in space, the rings of Saturn are brilliant and bright and seem almost magical. So how did Saturn get its rings? And how did it stay there? So as you probably know by now, Saturn is the sixth planet in our solar system. While Saturn's rings are the most noticeable, there are other planets that have rings. Neptune, Jupiter and Uranus all have rings around them. But you probably have to have a pretty powerful telescope to actually see them. The rings around Saturn are the largest and the brightest of all the planets, spanning 175,000 miles. To give you an idea how big that is, it's almost three quarters of the distance between the Earth and the Moon. They may be very wide, but not very thin, only 30 to 300 feet thick. Almost 400 years ago, an astronomer called Galileo discovered these rings, and we have been studying them ever since. He didn't obviously have the telescopes that we have today, but he could figure out that there were seven major rings. As each of these rings were found, they were named after letters of the alphabet. So you might think that ring A would be the closest to Saturn, but that's not quite the case. They discovered the rings at various times, so they were named after the order that they were found. Thanks to various NASA missions like Cassini and Voyager, we are able to get a real close-up look of these rings and find out some really astonishing things. The first discovery is that the rings are not solid. They are actually made up of pieces of rock and ice. Some of these pieces are very small, about the size of a grain of sand, and others could be as big as a house. The reason why they are so bright is because the ice reflects so much light from the sun, giving them a brilliant glow. And the closer we got to the rings, the more we found out. We found out that they move and spin around Saturn incredibly fast, and that there are actually smaller rings that make up the larger rings. And these smaller rings are called ringlets. No one is completely sure how these rings are originally formed. It is thought that one of Saturn's 62 moons may have crashed into another moon and broken up into smaller pieces. Another idea is the many asteroids that orbit Saturn have been crushed into each other over time, creating the rings. Saturn's gravity may have held these pieces very close, and as time went by, they have slowly clustered together to form the rings. Another thing is that we have discovered spaces or gaps between the rings. And this makes you wonder why the rings haven't been pulled in by Saturn's gravity. And this begs the question, how old are these rings? NASA's Cassini mission gave us a great close-up of the E-ring. They found out that the ring is made up of the tiniest particles, and these particles don't last very long in space, and they drift away very easily. And scientists are trying to figure out to this day why the E-ring is still there. And one of these standout theories is the possibility of volcanoes on Saturn. This would be spewing forth new material that is consistently renewing the E-ring. So, some of Saturn's rings are very new and some of them are very old. Cassini is still circling Saturn and sending back more pictures every day. And using these pictures, we get a great understanding of how these rings evolve, how they're created, how they gravitationally interact with the moons and Saturn itself, and how they'll be destroyed. So, I hope that's given you a great insight into Saturn's rings, how they're formed, and how old they are. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you want to support the channel, click subscribe. Thank you for watching.